All right, so in this video, we'll take a look at how to use the head tracking feature with the OpenTX firmware on the FlySky i6 X radio transmitter. So now with the latest version of OpenTX firmware, the radio can accept PPM input signal. So that allows us to use the head tracking feature. And this is something that you could not do with the original firmware. And I think this is a fine example of why the OpenTX firmware is a major upgrade for this radio transmitter. Because not only can you use head tracking, you can also use Express LRS and also get a lot more options in the mixer page. So you can configure all the channels in whichever order and however you want to use them. So now there is no comparison as such between the stock firmware and the OpenTX firmware because the difference is vast. So anyways, let's dive into the video and see how to set it up. So first make sure you have the latest version of OpenTX firmware installed. Now I use the head tracking feature mostly with my RC car and to demonstrate in the video, I'll be using this FSI A10B receiver and I've connected the tilt and pan servo to channel five and six. So I'll go to the mixer page and here, if you see, I have channel five and six set to TR five and TR six, and those are the trainer channels. So with most head trackers, we can use from channel 5 to channel 8 so if you have a pan and tilt setup in that case you will be using two channels so you can use 5 and 6 or 7 and 8 so for example let me set up channel 7 and 8 as the trainer channel to accept the ppm signal from my fpv goggles so under the channel 7 settings i'll select the source to TR7 and if you decide to connect another radio transmitter to use it as a student teacher setup then you can actually use all 8 channels because now the radio has the option to accept 8 ppm channels so TR1 is ppm1 and like I said with most head tracking devices the ppm signal is usually sent from channel 5 to 8 so I'll select TR7 and similarly for channel 8 I'll set this to TR8 and that's pretty much what you have to do in the mixer settings so now I'll power up the receiver so the transmitter and the receiver are bound to each other and now to connect the head tracker to the radio transmitter you will have to use a cable like this so if i'm not wrong i got this with the radio transmitter so it has a ps2 connector at one end and a 3.5 mm audio jack to which i can connect the mono uh, 3.5 mm jack that i got with the skies and cobrax fpv goggles So once I connect the PS2 connector, I can now plug in the 3.5mm mono jack and I'll connect the other end to the head tracking output port on my Skyzone Cobra X FPV goggles and now I'll power up the goggles. So in my FPV goggles, you can see that I have the head tracking feature in the settings. So I'll make sure that head tracker is turned on and here under the ppm channel i can select which channels i want to use so i can use channel 5 and 6 or channel 5 and 7 or channel 5 and 8 and similarly i can use channel 6 and 7 or 6 and 8 and 7 and 8 so depending on how you decide to wire the pan and tilt servo to the receiver you can select the appropriate uh, ppm channel over here so since i've connected the servo on channel 7 and 8 i'll select 7 and 8 in the settings of my goggles and then if you want you can adjust uh, other settings like the tilt and pan range so i like to keep it at 90 degrees and 60 for tilt and then pan and tilt correction is basically as an offset so when you center the gyro in the 
head tracker and if the pan and tilt servos are not aligned in the center direction then you can use the pan and tilt correction and if you want you can reverse the ppm direction so if the servos are moving in the opposite direction of your fpv goggles then you can change this to tilt and pan or normal and if you only have a single servo connected for either pan or tilt you can just use one of those i'll set this to normal and click on return and because i've selected channel 7 and 8 for trainer channels i'll have to connect the pan and tilt servo on channel 7 and 8 or if i want i can uh, remap in the mixer settings So now you can see that if I move the goggles, uh, the pan and tilt servo will also follow the same direction. So pan and tilt. And if I want to reset the servo, I can hold the reset button on my goggles. And these are the channels 7 and 8 values uh, represented in the bar format. So that is how you set up the head tracking feature with OpenTX firmware on the Flysky i6 X radio transmitter. Also one very important feature that I'd like to address is uh, if you have installed OpenTX firmware on this radio and when you want to update the firmware you don't have to use the ST-Link uh, device anymore. You can now plug in the USB cable and initiate the bootloader and update the firmware. So that's a very handy feature that's now implemented with the OpenTX firmware and we'll take a look at that in the next video. So thanks a lot for watching.